Good morning, everyone. Uh, this session here, this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between the manufacturing environment and the product structure. Now, there's a couple things going on here. I'm going to read what I wrote to you here when we look at product structure, which is the bill of material. Um, manufacturing environments make the stock, make the order, assemble the order. But what I wrote about actually was the process of manufacturing and its relationship to the product structure. So let me read what I got there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll come back and talk about the relationship between the environment and the product structure. So here's what I wrote. I said, well, the relationship between the manufacturing environment and the product structure really means we need to build to the product structure as that defines how the product is to be built. If the structure does not reflect how the product is to be built, we'll struggle to manufacture the product correctly. So in other words, if the bill, you know, we, if you think of a bill of material, A made up of B and C, B is made up of D and E. We plan from top to bottom because we don't know how many Bs we'll need until we know how many As we need. But we build from the bottom up. We take Cs and Es, put them together into the B, and we take the B and the C and put it together to make the A. And if that's not correct going up, we're not going to manufacture correct. So like we're saying there, uh, the product structure defines how the product is being made. Uh, so it's got to be correct to make the product correctly and effectively. As the structure changes, the product currently being made, then the structure's got to be updated at the same time. Otherwise, the product will be made wrong. Bottom line impact, if it's done correctly, simultaneously, the change and the, the production, the product gets made correctly, efficiently, and effectively. A customer gets what they want. And if we do it correctly, we should make money at it as well. The challenge I think I missed, though, is the manufacturing environment. And the manufacturing environment, let's take make to stock, means high volume, low variety. If how your product is made does not support high volume, low variety, then we got a problem there also. And I think that's the other side of what we're talking about uh, when we look at manufacturing environment. And what we mean by you know, it can't be made for high volume is if we've got a characteristic, maybe it's machining, maybe it's assembly, where we're not able to make it in high volume, there's got to be a lot of custom work to it. Um, then we've got a product that doesn't fit that, that type of environment. It's more make to order, and that's going to be problematic to hit it. Um, either the expectation to the customer has got to change from make to stock to make to order, and they pay accordingly, or we've got to change the process as we look at it. What you can look at as a concept would be the work of Terry Hill back in the maybe 80s, 90s, I want to say, uh, probably early 90s, where he talked about the concept of product profiling and does the char physical characteristics of the product match up the environment. And he took a long look at the importance of how well those characteristics of a product, how they're made, have to match up with the environment we're trying to hit.